This is move around like crazy and then jump in. If I wouldn't you want say to. every other game is jump in. I'd say every other game is learn how to deal with jumping in. Uh, anyway, that's not a here nor there. Um, in this game, yeah, the th dash dance is just as intimidating. Yeah, dash dance. Um, well, and also, you know, the main aggressive uh, movement is jumping forward uh, and canceling yeah. safely. Uh, Safe approaches, just like any other fighting game, that's also prevalent. Yeah. But I feel like in melee, it's. I don't want to say it's harder to have a safe approach, but just because there's so many more options, like, there's so many more things to look for as unsafe approaches All right, to so actually punish. And this, got, guy, this guy's really good at punishing approaches. All right, so so we got an interesting start so far. Um, I see Overflow making a couple preemptive movements, but uh, he's already getting punished. Uh, he's... And wow. Yeah, okay. how did they strike to this? Um, well, it was clearly uh, DJ's choice. Yeah, clearly um, he's had confidence that, or maybe he just didn't care. Yeah. Uh, fast uh, that was, okay, okay, this went from, he just kind of got that stock for no good reason. Yeah, but, I'm um, really confused right now. Okay, he's moving around him nicely. I want to see him sort of, okay, uh, overflow, he was sort of like making a lot of space between him and DJ at the beginning. And now DJ is the one making the space, yeah. Uh, which means that Marth can't really aggress properly when moving forward, so he needs to like get space and then manipulate it. If you know what I mean. Right, right, right. Right there, DJ just held center stage and just like drove him all the way off. Marth uh, is one of those characters that, yeah. like, he he operate when he's in his personal setup, like yeah. when he set something up, he's top tier. That he is his placement. Right but now, when uh, he's not in his own setup, it's it's really hard for him. What, what I'm seeing is uh, DJ oh, is man. successfully SDs. trading like SDs. You mean <laughs> he's successfully well, trading stocks? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a counter because I think DJ's going to do another move. But yeah. DJ's been getting a lot of grabs. That's the other thing is Marth can't get grabbed, with, uh, especially on the stage in this matchup because there's been nothing good's going to happen. And it seems like he's coming down with moves. Yeah. And that's the reason he's losing these trades. He needs to find clean grabs so that he can like you know get a lot of damage without trades. Of course. And once the grab does happen, yeah. it's you know it's off to the races. I'd also like to see him, uh, you know, you know, like use moves like dash attack and forward smash, just create a knockdown. Right. Uh, that that could you know lead to something more. Is he right there? And you have to make people crouch. Yeah, he just jumped away, which is good. He got DJ to run into his moves. Nice shine out of the chain grab. I don't understand the mechanics behind that, but a good fox. Yeah, me does. neither. I, nice. Yeah, right. This is the great. Yeah. See, he needs to do pivot grab at this point. Yeah. Pivot grab brings you away from the fox. That way, when he does come back down, you're not you're out of his hitbox range, and you can actually still get the grab because Marth's grab is broken. DJ is just such intelligent movement at this point, and uh, uh, overflow is not really. He's not creating enough space. He's just moving forward a tad too much. Nice. This is the follow up of your life, buddy. Come on. <laughs> oh. Couldn't quite nice. Oh. Good, good, good spacing. That was mostly safe, but he's in a bad situation now. He made a safe recovery and safe decisions. Oh. Nice grab from DJ. One that thing I definitely cool. noticed about Overflow, just in general, he goes for so many F smashes with Marth. I feel like he's done less now than in the past, but it's always a big flaw of his. And I, DJ will pick up on that. Yeah, yeah. certainly. Uh, I didn't see him really go for any ones that I considered too unwise. So yeah. I'd like to see him just go for it, you know? Uh, you got to make it happen, but you got to know He has to stuff. respect it. Yeah, so if he doesn't respect it, it's problems. Okay, I hope he learns something. That, that's all I could ask. Because <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. the run back. Uh, right now, see, yeah, I want to see him just dash dance. He, he is not uh, really controlling his space. Okay, uh, DJ's got him on the ledge, and uh, good follow ups. Cool. He's making, making a good amount from that. Uh, he didn't uh, follow up on that grab. That's Big but missed he, opportunity. I feel like DJ's just reacting. He's just sort of taking it to play by play and like looking for the, the right thing to do and then doing it. Yeah. Um, you know, and well, that's sort of what makes him such a great player. Yeah. First match was adjusting. First match was just learning his play style. Now it's just he knows what he's going for most of the time. But I, I really wouldn't even say you know he needs to adjust. Like this is like you know there, there's right. a. Uh, pr pretty clear examples of like what what uh, to do and what not to do in this matchup, and uh, he's just punishing Marth for like landing, pretty much. Oh what, wow! Nice follow-ups. That was very a really nice, nice combo. Not too many foxes would went for that down tilt. Yeah. On the getup. Nor that up smash. Yeah. But reverse bared up smash. I always like that. Nice upward angle. Uh, nice. This is a combo. Oh. Okay. And uh, ooh, should have went for down jab, tilt or jab. Jab down tilt. Either one would work. Actually, no. Down tilt. Might, uh, some some options might not work. Ooh, good upward angle again. From yeah. DJ. Uh, very. You know, one of Mart's harder options. Uh, Fox's harder options to, to punish. But uh, he's just weaving around him. Uh, very nice lead. Good shine spike. Let him grab the ledge though, and just punish his ledge option. So yep. smart. Even if he grabs the ledge, you can still get that damage. Put him back out. That should be it. Yeah. And uh, working on his four stock right now, DJ in, in full control. 
See, it's interesting. People consider that this is like just a. You can't wow. pick this match with Fox against Marth. It's, yeah, this you is, can't pick this. This stage. is the the Mutual counter. Right. You know, the thing is, not everyone he needs to He got to go off stage. Oh wow, that was risky. DJ's first downward angle. Uh, yeah. Downward angle up B. Yeah, I would have definitely just jumped, double jumped, and went for a fair. Yeah. Uh, well, that's another thing I'm kind of liking about uh, uh, Overflow's play right now is he isn't really going off stage. That was a really bad double jump over the ledge. Yeah, uh, I that was really him. risky. <laughs> And this is looking like game. Wow, he's yeah. just pushing buttons. Yeah, see, if you double jump over the ledge there, uh, if they trade it all, it's yeah, going to be a good game. Yeah.